guys, welcome back to the show. Today I'm going to be giving my review on the Jetson Moto Kicks electric self-balancing hover shoes. So I've had these for about a year now and honestly these are one of the funnest things I've ever used in my entire life. I'm no skateboarder and I'm not really like the type to use like hoverboards, you know the ones that are stuck like that. You just want to like casually go around places and look cool while doing it. I mean these are like pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna give you guys this quick review on these electric self-balancing hover shoes. All right guys, so right here, this is the hover shoe. So as you can see, it's a little bit scuffed. I've been using it for a while now. So like it has, you know, like missing screws right here. I mean, it's got like dents right here from like getting scratched. Uh, or I got, it has a lot of scratches right here. And I mean, it's, it's really tough. Like it's, it's like tough plastic and rubber. Uh, in the back right here, you can see these little uh, bands, or I don't know what they're called, just bands. All you do with these bands, there's one on each side so you can hold them both. I use this, you know, just to like hold them and walk around with them when I'm not using them on my feet. So yeah, it comes with two of them. As you can see now, they're a little bit like, you know, like they might snap. I'm not sure, but like they're still tough. Like it's been a year and they haven't fallen off. All right, the tire is actually just rubber and then just metal piece right here where the motor is. And so it's not gonna pop. So yeah, you never have to worry about like replacing the wheel. All right, on the side right here, this is where the battery percentage is shown. There's no actual numbers that are presented, but when all three of these are lit up, then that means it's fully charged. When this one's lit up, the middle one, that means it's 50% charge, and then after that, under your feet. And right here, this is the button to turn it on. I'm gonna turn it on without pushing the wheel because I don't want to get like hurt. Yeah. And then the lights. Oh shoot, it thinks it's on the ground. All right, on the sides, you have electronic lights, LED lights, and basically it's self-balanced. Right, I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you guys a quick demonstration on my desk, actually. Uh, set the little hoverboard right here and now it's completely hovering. All right, so this is the hoverboard in its action. If you touch this part slightly, it'll go forward. Push this one, it'll start going the other direction. The more pressure you put on it, the faster it'll go. So usually you would have your foot right here, this would be the front and then this would be the back. If you wanted to go forward, you just lean to the front and you'll go forward and same thing to go backward. It's all about that balancing, and this thing will never actually fall down as long as it has power. Doing my whole freaking desk. And then that's how it calibrates. Right now, it's when it beeps, that means it's not calibrated. But once it finds a solid uh, piece of like floor, then it'll calibrate by itself. Both of them calibrate differently. Each hover shoe calibrates itself, and basically, you, you can't like even with the most force you can use, like things not not gonna fall down. Then if you turn it off, it just falls down. All right, so this is the charger for both of the boards. Uh, you know, you just got your standard uh, plug-in. And right here at the very end, you got this little two dongles that are just one wire turns into two dongles and each one plugs into each side of the hoverboard. All right, on the power adapter, on the little brick, this little thing turns red when it's not fully charged and once it's fully charged it turns green so that's your indicator to see how long it charges with my experience these things charge up in about three to four hours after that you can literally ride it all day without having to charge it as long as you're not riding it for a long time these things you these things say that they can go up to six miles which i actually think that's true if you're not actually going that far these are actually really perfect because these things will last you an entire day with one charge these things are perfect for like college campuses. I like to ride this thing all over my campus because these things are so easy and people are like just staring at you like, oh my God, this guy, what is he riding? And they're way funner than the, you know, the normal hoverboards that are uh, just a two-in-one kind of thing where they're stuck together. Like these are separate, so it's your own separate adventure and you can actually do cool tricks with them. All right, so let me just go outside and show you guys how these things work. 